Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos again and we're going to look at Google Plus for your business. So uh, we got a quick look at the different pages, the different screens in Google Plus. I'm going to switch over to the Google Plus page, uh, actually the stream page. They call it stream when you have a business page. So what you can do here is share content. So I can share text, photos, links, etc. I'm going to share some text. I click there and it pops up to say, okay, share what's new. I'm going to say, um, excited to have a presence. That sounds too formal. We're going to say, uh, we're very excited to join Google Plus. Stay tuned for some great photos and fun. So I'm going to post something, and the question is, post it to who? Who's going to pay attention to this? That's what the to section here is about. Um, this is being broadcast or shared to public. And what does public mean? It's visible to everyone on Google+. Plus. I'm going to remove that, and I'm going to see that I have the option for public, your circles. Your circles are everyone in your circles except the ones you're just following. That'll make sense a little bit later when we organize our circles. But this means whoever I'm following, whoever I've made a connection to, will see this, but not the public, so only the connections you've made. I can select extended circles, everyone in your circles, plus all the people in their circles. So these are the connections I've made to people and their connections, so it's friends of friends. People can change that setting, of course, to block that, so you're not going to be reaching maybe as large of an audience as, as you would think, because people can change that setting if they want, and that's fine. We've got then other options down here. These are circles. These are your organization, uh, the way you organize your connections, which I'll talk about in detail. So notice we've got add names, circles, or email addresses. So if you've got a connection, even if you don't have a connection, you can start typing a name here. And everyone that's on Google Plus that has that name shows up. So if I select that name, what happens is what I'm going to share here at the moment is only going to be visible by Victor Campos. Well, I can add multiple targeting. So I can say also public. Let everyone that is public see this, but also let Victor Campos see this. Let him be alerted to this. And um, I'm going to say also the friends of those that I am friends with. So I'll share that. And what happened is that was shared to the public, friends of friends, and my personal account. And so uh, I can see over there that my mobile device tells me I got an alert that uh, some someone shared something with me. So I've uh, posted something, and it says, nice post. Here are a few tips. Did you find a typo? Use the drop-down menu on your post to edit or delete it. Don't want people to leave comments or reshare it with others? You can turn that off here, too. So let's take a look at that. Notice when you hover over one of your posts, or any post, you get a drop-down menu, options menu. If you select that, you can edit the post, delete it, link to it, embed it, disable comments, disable reshares. Right now, the default is that any person can come in and add a comment. If you don't want that, well, turn it off. Or turn it back on. So now, it's a public forum. People can share your post. So you can disable that. People you've shared this post people you've shared this post with will not be able to sh share it with anyone else. So that means um, it's stuck only on your profile. But I think part of social media is to be social, to allow people to share. 
So I would recommend you keep your content shareable. If you found a a um, typo, you can edit the post. Go back in, make your changes, save, and it's been updated. Again, you can delete, link, or embed post. You can explore linking posts and embedding posts on your own. So I uh, showed you I can easily share a, uh, a text post. Let me share a, a YouTube video. So I'm going to select video here. The screen changes to select a YouTube video. You can search here. You can enter an address of a video you already have, or you can upload a video. Google Plus and YouTube are intertwined because they're all part of Google. So you can share videos here and they automatically get saved to your YouTube channel. But let's say I want to find a video. Mm, let's see. I'm going to find uh, how to bake cookies. Let's see what we've got. How to make the best chocolate chip cookies. That'll be fine. I'll select that. So now my post will include an embedded video from YouTube. In this case, I'm going to say I'm going to make this public and to my followers, whoever I've circled, and to their friends. So right here, I'm getting a pretty good reach. Friends of friends, friends, and anyone on Google+. I can add some text as well. And let me show you this trick. The other social networks don't have this. I can actually add some formatting, some styling to my text. I can say, uh, check this delicious video. And I want to emphasize the word delicious. Well, if I add asterisks around the text, it will bold it. If I want to italicize, I can add underscores. I can even do strike through. By adding dashes. These uh, symbols will be converted into the appropriate markup after I share it. So if you don't see a change yet, don't worry. It'll happen when you share. There's my post. There's my video. There's the word delicious in bold, asterisks. There's the word so in italics, underscores. And there's the word diet, strike through with the dash. So use those to add emphasis to your text. And notice, you might get a pop-up that says hashtags help people discover more Google+. Uh, actually, hashtags help people discover more. Google Plus now shows hashtags related to your posts. Remove ones that aren't a good fit. So it saw my post, it saw what I wrote, it saw the video, and it added these tags, hash food, hash chocolate, hash recipes. And what these do are links to other content. So when we talk about hashtags and searching and such, this will make more sense. And we'll see this is a way to connect with more people. So speaking of people, that's our next video. I've shared content, but who's paying attention? In the next video, I'll show you how to get followers. So come back for that.